What's up, Loop community? My name's Edge. I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer. And in this session, we're going to show you how we can get the project that we've been working on in Logic and bounce it out for uploading to Loop community, setting it up for Prime, or using it in main stage. So let's get after it. So we've got our general idea of our song going. Uh, and we'll just bounce out the intro and the verses today. All right, so the first thing that we need to do to start bouncing out all of these tracks is to first organize them. So right now I've kind of been adding things here and there and, and, and letting them kind of get organized, but I'm gonna start by just kind of grouping all of my stuff together. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my drums together. So I've got my, uh, eight, my 808 up top. I've got my um, slow jam right over here. My rose, rose is playing my hi-hats and percussion over here. I don't need these old hi-hats, and I'm gonna make sure that I delete them because I really don't want to use any extra uh, processing power. Same thing with this subsonic boom. I'm not gonna need that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just get rid of that altogether. Okay, well, um, after the uh, drums, I'm just gonna put my bass tracks, so all of my synth bass, synth basses <laughs> are right over here. Uh, I'll put my swell pad and I've got my lead stuff over here. Um, my side chain gate, you know what? I'm going to make sure that I group that with my swell pad. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that everything else is kind of uh, listed here. Now, it's also a good idea that as you start organizing your tracks, you might want to keep them the same color as well. You're gonna to wanna to group these tracks together. Now this will be really helpful later on when you start to bounce them out together. Just visually, it's a lot easier uh, to work with. Uh, now the keyboard shortcut that I'm used to using is Option C, and that'll open up the color palette, which will make these colors the same color. I think these all should be kind of that same drum color, or you can make them orange, or whatever it is that you, uh, you really wanna work with. Same with these two bases. Uh, I'm gonna do a dark blue for bass. Yeah. Uh, my pads and my leads, I'll have kind of this greenish color. Why not? And then my effects, odd man out, sure, that's fine. Okay. Now, if we were exporting this out as an MP3 file or as a WAV file, as a completed file, then we definitely want to go through and mix our entire project around our different sounds, uh, making sure that everything sounds the way that it needs to. So if we're trying to export out um, these options, we want to make sure that you know all of our levels are at, a, at an equal level or at least at a manageable level and that remember that's what pre-fader mixing is really really helpful for and what i'm going to do is that instead of exporting these out as just a solid wave file i'm going to export these out in groups and the way to do that is to select the files that you want to work with you also want to specify how much of this file you actually want to export. Now in this case, I'm going to be setting up my intro and my verses, um, and, and that's just it for now. If I was doing the rest of the song, I would make sure that my cycle region encompasses all of the markers that I've already put in here. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just working with my intro and verse, because uh, I, I want to share this before I actually finish it. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I've got that cycle region selected. I've got these two regions selected, and I want to make sure that everything underneath those regions is selected. And I'm going to go ahead and enter in solo mode. And I'm just going to solo those two um, tracks. Great. So these are all my drums. And what I'm going to do here is that I can right click on these and I can say bounce in place. So I'm going to um, name it according to our same naming conventions. Battle is one. In this case, it's in the key of C, and it's at 148 beats per minute. Cool. And th these are the drums, so I'm going to say drums. It'll create a new track. Um, I'll go ahead and include any audio tail in the file, just in case there's any processing. But be careful with this setting right here, because if you have a really long reverb or a really long delay set, uh, then this might very well actually um, carry on infinitely. So you might want to be careful with how long the audio tail in this file is. Um, and we're not going to normalize. I think uh, whatever it's being processed as is going to be great. And uh, we'll hit OK. Great. 
And now what that does is that it creates a bounced region for us to uh, work with. And so if we listen back to it, here's what it sounds like. Great. So that's a really good um, drum kit. Um, we can do the same with some of our other kits. Let me go ahead and actually move this down to the bottom so it's out of the way. We'll do the same with our um, bass tracks. And you don't even have to solo these. You can actually just uh, select them both make sure that we're working with um, the same amount of cycle region. Again, we'll bounce in place following the same naming convention. Battle is one in C at 148. And these are the base synth. And it's going to take all of the processing that it's used. It's going to take all of the, um, the, the effects that we've used on it, and it's going to go ahead and process them. And we can now go ahead and use that as our bass sound. Great. Um, the next thing that we'll do is that we'll get the rest of these sounds, so the swell pad, the side chain, uh, and our bell leads. We'll go ahead and uh, group them all together. We can play these back just to make sure that they are the sounds that we're looking for. Yeah, that sounds right. So. The next set of tracks is going to be a little bit different. We're going to export this uh, kind of in the opposite way that we've been exporting. Whereas with the other tracks, we can solo them and bounce them out in place. These are a little bit different. Remember, this pad is being routed into a bus, and that bus is being routed into nothing, uh, except that it's being routed into this sidechain gate, which, as you can see, doesn't have any regions in here. So these are kind of a packaged deal, and we want to make sure that all of the rest of these get exported out, um, you know, along with the way that they're supposed to sound. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and just bounce this entire uh, section of the song out. So from the intro to both verses, bounce, project or section, OK. We can go ahead and uh, replace this file. And actually, I need to name it. So this is be synths uh, leads. I hit bounce. Perfect. So now I'll go ahead and uh, I can see I've got my synth leads item over here. Uh, and if I drag it in with the rest of these particular um, tracks, then I've added it all together. Great. Let me go ahead and mute these and play back what I've got here. Here's our song. Um, in its entirety. So now that we've exported our different song sections, now we're ready to actually get these, upload them to Loop Community, we can export them out so that we can uh, run them in Main Stage or even Ableton or Prime. And so we've gone through the process of getting all of our tracks listed and ready to go.